During the 16th to 17th century, the Ottoman Empire saw a change in its political dynamic as imperial women began to influence the decisions of the imperial court. The period from 1534 to 1683 is known as the Sultanate of Women. As imperial women within the Ottoman dynasty, beginning with Hiram Sultan and ending with the Gurnush Sultan, exerted political power through the relation to the Sultan. By either being his favorite concubine or wife, Hasaki, or as a queen mother, Valide. As was custom in Ottoman culture, the Hasaki, Valide, and other imperial women remained inside the residence of the harem. Physically secluded from the imperial court and public domain. However, the physical seclusion didn't preclude their exercise of power. They were still able to forge networks of power to assert their influence over the imperial court and the sultan. As the first Hasaki of the empire, Hurem, began an era in which imperial women changed the political dynamic of the imperial court for over 100 years. In this brief survey of her life, Hiram's role as Hasaki allowed her to have considerable influence over the empire and sultan, which ultimately allowed subsequent imperial women to exercise political power. Hiram Sultan, also known as Raxelana in Europe, was a Russian captive taken to Istanbul to become a concubine for Sultan Suleiman. She quickly rose through the ranks of the imperial household. With Suleiman changing harem protocol by marrying her in 1534, and allowing her and their son to stay in the imperial capital instead of a province, as was customary. An ambassador present in Istanbul noted that the wedding was an extraordinary event, one absolutely unprecedented in the history of sultans. Hiram's marriage to Suleiman and birthing of five sons secured her role as the first Hasaki in Ottoman history. Her strong connection and intimacy with Suleiman gave her access to power that no other imperial woman had previously enjoyed. Hiram used her political power within the imperial court to advocate for a change of a grand vizier to her son-in-law and, in turn, to gain greater influence. Hiram strategically married her daughter, Mihrimah, to Rustem, who was the governor of the Tiribekir. Through Hiram's plotting, he became grand vizier to Suleiman, with his predecessor, Hadim Suleiman Pasha, being executed in 1544. While Rustem benefited from Mihrimah and Hiram's relationship with Suleiman as he became the highest vizier in the imperial court, Hiram was able to use the strategic marriage to create an alliance with Rustem gaining constant access to information about the empire and the opportunity to assert her influence over the entirety of the imperial court. Hiram's influence in the imperial court and relationship with Suleiman was heavily criticized by contemporaries throughout Europe and within the empire. Hiram was demolished in diplomatic documents, literature, and European theater in the 16th and 17th centuries. Hiram was widely condemned for her role 
in Mustafa's death, as his execution worked favorably for her as her son, Selim II, became the first choice of heir to the Sultanate, which guaranteed Hiram's continued influence throughout the Europe. Despite the extent of contemporary criticism, the role Hurem played as Haseki allowed subsequent imperial women to also exercise political power in influencing the imperial court. Haseki was developed into the role of Valide upon Haseki's son being crowned Sultan. Although Hiram never took this role for herself, as she died before Selim II could ascend to the throne, the precedent she set for imperial women in politics allowed Nurbanu to create the role of Walide to claim power. Nurbanu was Haseki to Sultan Selim II and became a powerful Walide to Sultan Murad III. She regularly sat on Murad's Council of State and concerned herself with all the faces of government, including foreign policy towards Venice. Safiya Sultan, Valide to Sultan Mehmed III, also played a prominent role in foreign affairs by maintaining a friendly and diplomatic relationship with Queen Elizabeth I. Although imperial women were physically secluded in the harem, the Sultanate of Women era highlights that Hasekis and Valides were able to influence the imperial courts and exert their own political power. Hiram's marriage to Suleiman allowed her to strategically establish networks of power within the imperial courts in order to achieve her objectives. They set a precedent for future imperial wives and mothers as they were able to use their connection to the Sultan to exercise influence over the empire. Tracing Hiram's biography shows us the strategies that were open to ambitious imperial women. We are able to see how she transformed from a concubine into a powerful Hasaki who was able to directly influence the Sultan and imperial court. The role of Hasaki and Valide helps us to understand the change in the Ottoman political dynamic, which contemporaries believe to be the corruption of the Ottoman state.